Thank you for listening to RP Killer's Podcast Station. You can check out our shows, RP Killer Interviews, Dumb and Dumber, The Fucking Show, and The Boys. We are now available on Podbean, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, TuneIn, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Castro, Castbox, Stitcher, Listen Notes, iHeartRadio, and Deezer. And we're going to begin the show with our intro. Welcome to Dumb and Dumb. Dumb and Dumb. Shit. We know life's a bummer. Bummer. It, it was, was a cold, cold summer. summer. But your winner about to be hot. Like, like your mom's cheese cheese in between the sheets. Turn off the TV and, and turn, turn on me. me. I mean, we. We, 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 we. RP, killer, and Vaughn. Vaughn, Vaughn, Vaughn. Shit, I fucked up the song. So, so, so. But it ain't long. Dumb and Dumb, you bitch, bitch ass, ass niggas. 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 All right. Killer and what up, up? Is your boy Vine? What it do? We back with another episode. Bro, why you just couldn't be home tonight, bro? <laughs> like, I don't understand that. <laughs> your shit, uh, shit is fucking up bad, bro. Bro, how the fuck? Man. Shit, the internet you on right now looking real unfamiliar. Bro, they're not in it. All right, bro, do it again, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Do it again, bro. All right. I'm going to play the intro one more time. Hold on. All right. Here goes the intro. <laughs> Welcome to Dumb and Dumb. Dumb and Dumb. Shit. We know life's a bummer. Bummer. It, it was, was a cold, cold summer. summer. But your winner about to be hot. Like, like your mom's cheese, cheese, cheese in between the sheets. Turn off the TV and, and turn, turn on me. me. I mean, we. We, 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 we. R.P. Killer and Vaughn. Vaughn, Vaughn. Shit, I fucked up the song. So, so, so. But it ain't long. Dumb and dumb, you bitch, bitch ass, ass niggas, 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 niggas. Hey, it's RP Killer Ann. Vine, what up? What up, fools? We back with another episode. What, is what episode is this? Uh, I think what, it's number 12? 12. Yeah. Yeah, number 12. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we doing the damn thing. Man, so... Yeah, man, today was cool, though. You know what I'm saying? We to go see Tony Bologna and shit. You know, oh, chopped yeah. it up with him. Yeah. Yeah, you know I know think he's saying? He bitches. liked the hairdo. The hairdo? What, you just got braids or, nigga, what you got? Yeah, yeah, braids, boy. Oh. I got a bun. Uh, a man bun? Yeah, I got a man bun. It's braided to a bun. That's crazy. Um... How is that crazy, bro? <laughs> Niggas, I forgot niggas is wearing man buns now since like 2007. Well, hey, well, you know, hey, I look good in it. That's all that matters. Man, look, when I get this bun, man, like, it made me look Asian as fuck. Wow. That's cultural appropriation. I mean, that's a good thing, though. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Asians. You know what I'm saying? I like the Asian culture. All the karate movies. I grew up on all that shit. I would like to learn, like, you know, different languages from, like, Japanese, Chinese, and shit, Vietnam. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> okay, nigga. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your first topic you want to talk about today? Uh, you know what? Man, first, fuck shit. that. First of all, we, gonna, we just got the news in. Uh, rest in peace, Tiny Lister Jr., a.k.a. Debo for Friday. Uh, they just found yeah, rest in peace. Um, unresponsive in his apartment. Uh, I want to say about 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Western time, uh, or pers- yeah, Pacific time. Yeah, um, yeah. You know they got him confirmed at the age of 62 that he passed. So ain't no, they ain't released no details on how he passed. But you know, fam, uh, right? You know, prayers go out to his family and all that kind of stuff. But uh, go ahead and resume the episode. Uh, yeah, man. So uh. You know, uh, talk about some shit at home, St. Louis. Uh, Tiny Homes 
for homeless popping up in downtown St. Louis. So basically, oh, yeah. like, it's a... Col- huh? No, nah, I said, oh, yeah, finally over there? Yeah, yeah, so they're doing so for the homeless. The homeless, so uh, a collection of 50 tiny homes are being moved to place this week. And they will begin sheltering the St. Louis homeless population. I don't know how big the population is with homeless, but when you drive in, like, downtown St. Louis, like, on the highway, and, like, you look to your left or right, like, you can see where the fucking homeless live at. Like, it's a bunch well, of tents but just, next just, to this abandoned building. Just know this. It ain't just in St. Louis. It's all around the uh, U.S., that the downtown metropolitan areas are basically the homes for uh, the homeless. Now, I'll tell you a few reasons why. Um, There is an influx of people who shed money. Uh, That's where most of your shelters are going to be. That's where people waste a lot of food, especially on lunch breaks. So, like, the homeless person, I mean... Once, once you out there on the streets, you ain't too proud to do anything no more. Like begging, eating out right. the trash, doing whatever, bro. Like it ain't nothing against these penny people pitching. At all. It's just, you know, hell. It's 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 my it's my lick right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know, you know, go beyond my standards and I'm gonna go ahead and eat this hot dog out the trash real quick. Yeah, um, man, but I mean, it really don't have to even go that route. Like, you know, motherfuckers just have, you know, no hope for themselves, man. Just, well, some people or it just be just, some they just shit they up. just can't some, bounce back from. Well, yeah, not only that, uh, there's some people who just rich as shit and don't want to pay for shit. And they just rather live on the streets and control their own life. They don't want to pay no fucking taxes. I'd rather sell on the street and, and chill all day. Maybe I was a millionaire and I was busy as hell and I had no time to get out of it. So maybe I fake my own death and chill. That could be it. Hey, that'll that'll be the life. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right. Tony Baloney said something today. That nigga was like, uh, he said, "Man, if I could change social security cards, I'd bounce on these hoes." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he don't know you could, but yeah. I mean, you gotta have the money yeah. to disappear. Yeah, that's all it is to it. Money, money, you can do anything. I mean, besides you know, buy happiness and shit, but. That's that's right, right. Hey man, that's that's the life right there, man. Like just knowing that you got money on you, and then like you could do whatever the fuck you want, not worry about shit. Well, just just know that uh, money is only one of several currencies on this planet, but it's also another currency that can cause other issues for people. But back on these homeless people, man. I mean, I think it's cool that they out there putting the tiny homes out there and shit. But there there comes a point where uh, it could you, have been did it. when you do these types of things, one, it's for publicity. You want to make sure you look good doing something for people you should already be helping, one. And try to make the city look good. Yeah. Two, you are enabling people to continue to live the lifestyle they live in. So you have somebody out there on the streets, they choose to be on the streets, they want to be on the streets, they ain't got nothing but the streets, and you give them a tiny home, all right, cool, now it's a tiny home filled with all the bullshit they got on the side of the street. They ain't going to do nothing else, they just going to sit right there in that tiny little house with all the tiny little shit and do the same tiny little thing they did in Man, they ain't going to be throwing parties, boy. Ain't nah, no sitting there just see, quiet. The, the only thing about homeless <laughs> people, bro, like a lot of people be getting misconstrued. I actually, I, after I talk about this, I'll talk about like one really quick topic that kind of relates to it, but it's not really related. Yeah. So, um, people misconstrued that about like homeless people. They just automatically think they're dirty. They automatically think, you know, they out here doing drugs and, you know, mugging people and shit or, you know, out here just trying to scam people. A, yeah. Look, a lot of people that's homeless, they got, like I said, they either want to chill because, you know, their life was just as busy as possible and they couldn't handle it. Uh, two, um, like you said, they couldn't bounce back from a situation. Uh, three, yeah. they, they just, they yeah. just want to disappear or blend in. They don't want to be found. They don't want to be anything. Like that um, that golden voice dude. They want to be left alone. 
basically. Like, they, they want to be amongst people that they can relate with. Like, people that... I don't want to call them lost, but it's almost like a person that moves without a home. Like, they can yeah. live... They try to live off the earth, but they, they, can't, they can't quite live off the earth because they're so domesticated in this concrete jungle. Right. But what what I was going to say is, like, what kind of relates to it is, like, I remember uh, watching all these movies... Like about kids with glasses, they usually portray kids with glasses like scrawny, uh, helpless, uh, virgins who don't fight back, all this kind of shit. So I took motherfucking bad acne. (laughs) Yeah, I took some of that information and try to apply it to real life. And nigga almost got my ass stomped to death by trying to fuck with somebody who had glasses on, bro. Like you automatically assume glasses was weakness. That's that's how fucked up the media. Well, you know they everything. they all program that in the movies. They of all course, program that's what I'm that saying. Movie. Movies, TV shows, whatever it is, even books. Yeah, like they portray people who have terrible vision, who have terrible teeth, skin, whatever, as inferior or as weak. So when you go to apply that shit in real life, you bound to get cliz out, nigga. Uh, <laughs> all I can tell you is <laughs> you gonna sit there and try to run up on a nigga with glasses or or braces, or whatever, and you gonna get stomped the fuck out. They gonna right gonna thinking flood. they hoes. Yeah, they gonna flood your ass. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, right. Um, you fuck with the right one today. But, but yeah, with these um, homeless people, man, it's like you gotta. I think what they should do is definitely go through and do like a psyche evaluation on people who actually want the tiny home. Um, because you're going to find somebody who just wants the home. They, that was a long con in the, in the get go. I lost my house. I'm going to get another one, but it's probably going to take me 10 years living on the street to get one. So probably that's if they even wanted that no fucking house. They probably, you know, right. But, a lot of these people, they have their plans, they have their agendas. So, I think, yeah, I think they would have to go through like some kind of psych evaluation, psych evaluation, just to apply yeah. for the home. But yeah, I would, I would definitely. You know, uh, but I was gonna say, like, man, I hope like when they give them these houses, like they don't mm-hmm. be trying to control the fucking situation. Like, oh, you gotta be back at a certain time. Oh, you can't have too many people over. I mean, yeah, it's a tiny house, but damn, like, I'm pretty sure the tiny you know house is gonna be like under the fucking highway, bro. You said what? Like, there's like probably a designated area where they have the homeless. They'll probably like block off or barricade under a highway for these tiny houses. Well, well, hold up, hold up. Well, it says that you know the the city plans a 29 month lease of property for a new community on a site. Of the new, new form of St. Louis RV park on the edge of downtown. So, and that's over right, there by North you Jefferson. That, you heard that, right? Go ahead and read what? that last sentence one more time. Where where are they putting them? Uh, St. Louis RV park. Mm-hmm. But where is it located? On the edge of downtown. Bingo. They're trying to move all the homeless out. Mm. You feel me? Okay. So yeah. just just picture what's going on right now. You got so many people out here making this money and shit, right? They don't right. want to live in the suburbs, nigga. They want to live downtown where it's popping. So why the fuck Pretty do much. I want to come downstairs and see a homeless person on my step or somebody pissing on themselves in front of my crib? No, nigga. You got to get the fuck up out of here. I pay too much money for this just to have your dirty too ass much in front of me. Or, or, right. that's what I'm not saying that's how I think, but that's how most of these young people gonna think. Young people, bro, are right. like motherfuckers with money. Well, not only that, but yeah, young people, motherfuckers with money, or whoever it is, they it's like once you live in a certain area or you reach a certain amount of money, you become nasty. And you can't um how can I say uh phew. Damn. Yeah, yeah. You can't feel what others feel or right. or feel anything at all. You just, hey, this is my shit. 
you got to go. So, I don't know. I, I think that's what the initial plan for like all these places around the uh, all around the U.S. Because I don't know about the the rest of the world. I don't hear right. nothing about a homeless problem r- around the world. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's bad all the way around. They they probably do, but you don't hear about it as much because of course not. Like they right, try to make everybody this. look good. You have. People that live in houses who work dead end jobs, who fucking just, you know, work paycheck to paycheck. That's people like us. We work fucking paycheck to paycheck. We we live in a place that you could say is nice or whatever, but we barely right. fucking make it through that. Well, I'm surprised that we can pay our fucking bills. And then you have yeah. the people who have the means to do whatever the fuck they want. They can buy the car they want. They can hell, if they want to go buy an icy truck, nigga, they can go buy that. Um, then you yeah. have the homeless people where some can be millionaires, some can be mentally disabled, some can just, like I said, or like you said, uh, they got in a situation where they couldn't bounce back. So, like, you know, some yeah. bills stacked on top of each other. And it was like, yo, uh, you're going to have to give up your house. You're going to have to give up all your shit. You're going to have to sell everything. That kind of shit. Oh, you might have to live in yeah, your Yeah, and it's all the setup, man. Right. The the definition the of homeless that most people go by is you don't have an actual apartment, trailer, or house to live in. You can live in a fucking van and technically be homeless because you don't have a physical address. If you don't have a physical address, right, you're right. technically homeless. That's what people are yeah, saying. Yeah, you're not in the system. Right. Bingo, nigga. A lot of people don't yeah. want to be in the system. That's why they live on the streets. You know how many right, missing right. people are in the world? Not only because they might be homeless, maybe because they got kidnapped, but a lot of people just don't want to be tracked. They don't want to be tracked no more, bro. Right, right. And speaking of tracking, I'm going to go ahead and transition over to this. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you get that video I sent you of the uh, lady who said she found a tracking device in them pink bras? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I saw that. Right, I ain't so, click on it, but I saw it. So, like, with these types of videos online, like, I've seen one where... The dude go to the corner store and he find a tracking device on his blunt. Like it sounds God damn. like paranoia, but yeah, I guess like it's an area where you know the feds are really trying to get information and shit. So the dude was like, "Man, this yeah. blunt, this blunt packet kind of thick." So he like went around and it kind of peeled off. So he peeled it back and it had all the fucking wire devices on it and shit. He's like, "Yo, what the fuck is going on?" So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, man, I wouldn't that's some doubt, wild shit. I wouldn't doubt that these people will do anything to uh, track you down and take you from you know the people that love you, uh, or or anything like that. I wouldn't doubt that people are gonna always uh, get information from you. Why do they need to right. bug when they got the greatest fucking snitch device? Plugged into the internet twenty four seven. Your phones, your computer, your fucking Xbox, PlayStation, your car, your car, even all that shit records you, and you don't all know that. It. Yeah, you, man. You can turn the fucking phone off. The phone's still listening to you. So right, it I just mean, the camera ain't on. Exactly. Like there's um, they they sell these devices where they cut the signal from the phone, um. It's something like phone gel or whatever, but yeah, they yeah. they sell these boxes where you put the phones in and shit. You don't get no signal to them bitches. So, um, as long as I would say like you, you probably gonna have some motherfuckers that lock them phones up, but then instantly a home invasion happened because motherfuckers can't listen to your conversations or they can't do anything. Like when I wanna uh, talk about ideas I have or talk about some real shit, I walk away from my phone. Like, I'll leave my phone in another room or I'll leave it in the car because I know it collects information. So, right, just think about them iPhones. Like, you could be talking to somebody that got Androids too. And I think I talked about, um, I think a couple of shows back how the Androids send information to Google and it's a lot of information a month. Like, what what are you sending this information, this feedback for? Right, right. So, exactly, they, you know, they tracking your ass, you already know. Oh yeah, like shit, they know when, they can listen to your, your, your body acoustics and know what's wrong with you. So when these people show up, 
nigga, all they got to do is hit you with a rubber bullet in a, in a place that's fucking backed up or clogged, and bam, your ass die. Or they choke right. you. They choke you away, and oh, he he can't breathe. Uh, or they they step on your back a certain area. Oh shit! Uh, we press down on his lungs. Like these these people. Yeah, yeah. They they got this agenda. Cut out here. those shit. They got this agenda out here, man. And right now, uh, I was watching uh, Tyreek Nasheed earlier talking about these goddamn yeah, yeah. vaccines because like uh, was it? This uh, black doctor who basically is a, like a self-hating black woman is out here uh, helping them peddle the, the fucking vaccines to black people. And uh, was it Fauci? He was like, well, there's a black lady that's doing it. So you guys should take it to the black right. community. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck if she black or not. Nigga, I'm not taking it until y'all motherfuckers take it. If I don't see none right, of y'all niggas right. drop, then no, I'm not taking that shit. Like, you, right, you and know, then you know, like the vaccines take a while. These niggas had that shit right out the bat. Well, that's the whole like, thing. What I think, even before we even had this show, man, we would talk on the phone and shit. I, I was already telling people, look, man, the shit was already created and they already got the vaccine for it. They just need money. Right. That money, shit was a twenty-year-old plan. Money. The shit's in a book. I forgot what yeah. the name of the book is, but the shit's in the book. I think I sent you the link to it. The shit's in a book. And the shit came out, like, way before, but it's all these NWO plans. Like, the, all the shit. It's all protocol, man. Like, they put the right, shit. Right, they, right. Put the, they put the shit in movies so they can get you with that predictive planning. Like, I was watching something, and they, they mentioned, uh, it was from uh, Project Worm. Yeah, Project Runway last year, uh, somebody posted a video from like April 2019 where yeah, uh, I think it was a dude was wearing this outfit. It was like a all, I, I want to say flanner checkered, checkered outfit, but it also had a mask with it to yeah. accessorize. And the nigga name was COVID with a K. <laughs> so, yeah, like, man. All this shit is productive. Uh, no, well, it's productive to them, but it's predictive programming. So, like, they they'll play it so much in your face or in your ears to where when it happened in real life, you just used to it. See, they ain't play shit like this. Yeah, like for all these masks and shit. Like you, you like for the people that watch anime and, <sighs> and study up on like you know uh, Asian culture. They wear masks all the time, and it's just to protect other people from them. Sometimes they wear the mask to protect their identity. Like, they have a huge stalking problem over there. So, I mean, so, uh, yeah, I ain't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. People, people, so wait outside your house, call your house, and get in your house, take pictures of you while you're sleeping and shit. I mean, they, they probably do that over here too, but what I'm trying to say yeah. is they go out and about and protect their identity certain ways. Like, every manga I've read so far, like, somebody at one point has gone out, worn a mask and sunglasses and probably a hat or a beanie. Right. And protected their identity somehow. And then, even when they're, they're like, tracking someone or, or, or stu- and like, stepping behind someone, nigga, they got the mask and shit on. Like, the surgical mask is the funniest shit. So, yeah, yeah. Um... All this shit goofy as hell. Of course, but all of it is predictive programming, bro. So, yeah, man. You just gotta think, like, how 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 can I say? Like, they got it to where the game is completely fucked up. <clears throat> like you got it and corrupted. Yeah, you got you got people out here um, that still living their life like normal. And then they go, oh, well, now I got to go bury all my family members because they died from it. Like, bro, it shouldn't take some of your family members to catch it and die from it to believe the shit. Like, bro, they got some malicious shit that got out and it's wreaking havoc on all sides. And it's real bad over here because we're in the land of the free. We going to do whatever the fuck we want to do, even though you tell us not to. So exactly that's why they have these COVID task force out here now to go and bust shit up. Like 
Do you have a party going on or you have a restaurant that's over capacity or you have a restaurant that's yeah. not telling you to put your fucking mask you on? You see that a lot on the news. Right. So they go in here, shut down shit, arrest people. Soon, they're going to start arresting people for not getting the vaccine. Soon, they're going to start telling right. people, oh, you don't have the vaccination tag on your wrist or you're not wearing the keychain or the, or the fucking... Um, lanyard or necklace stamp, um, right or stamp, yeah, or the barcode. You can't come yeah. in the store. You can't do this. You can't do that. I'm, I can almost guarantee this shit gonna be like that eventually. So it sounds like some yeah, man. Weird... It's already started with the mask. Like you can't get in without a mask now. So what's, what's now fucked it up comes about to the... the mask is like down here. It's like lenient as shit because there's some people who are clearly. Either my age, younger, even sometimes older, they walk into wherever I'm at and they don't have a mask on. And you got some people who just continue on with wherever the fuck they want to do. No mask and all. Or you got some people that's like, oh, shit, I forgot. And, you know, they'll pretend to yeah. for a mask or, you know, they'll run back out to yeah. the car and go get one. But Right, that shit be annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's almost like you have to change your life that you've been doing for X amount of years you've already been alive so it's like you gotta like, reprogram yourself like say for instance if you were married and you've been fucking this woman for 10 years without a condom and then y'all break up and now you start fucking new bitches but they require you to wear condoms uh, nigga you gonna forget a, a million times to bring that condom out because you're so used right. and you've already programmed yourself to fuck a certain way. <clears throat> right. So it, it all comes down. You got to, you know, reprogram yourself. Oh, you yeah. got to deprogram yourself from the last shit, then start over. Right. Which is why a lot of people in their relationships don't work because they still have the same programming from the previous relationships. And yeah. as I put relationship with the S at the end, because all they do is add on and add on and add on and add on. They don't never take away. Fucking accessories. Yeah, they just assume that every person is molded exactly the same way. But that's not always entirely true. Um, but back to that homeless thing. I, I can I can just say, like, it's, it's going to be a double-edged sword um, if they continue to do this. Instead of, like, I, I think... <clears throat> What the initial plan might be is for the people who actually need the homes, like the, um, you said the tiny homes or whatever, that's going to establish. Yeah, an man, it's like a fucking trap house. Right. It's going to establish an, ad- uh, an address for them. That way they can get a job and become like a quote unquote stable member of society. And then yeah. they move Back them out the of that tiny house and move them into an actual house or whatever. Because, you know, they're going to create oh, all these they're gonna create all these housing projects and stuff. Honestly, there's so much real estate out here on this, um, in, this in this country that's unused. Yeah. Even if you have two, three houses, there's still more houses than people here. So eventually they're going to have to fill all those houses up, bro. Like they've already like even if you take all the people out of jail, there's probably still a ton of houses, man. So they need yeah, to, they man, need, yeah, they need to fill all these properties up. Um, I mean, it, like, come on, you, you just got empty properties just chilling, bro. Like, they yeah, gonna, they gonna move them out of them tiny houses, move them into like maybe they they might buy an apartment complex out or whatever, move them all in there, um. And then just repeat the cycle. That would be very productive. Honestly. That that would definitely be Yeah, productive. I mean yeah, it, yeah, on they end, but you know on the you know on the homeless people end, it's probably like, what the fuck? Well, I didn't ask about, for this. I'm talking about for the homeless people that actually had no choice of being homeless. Like the ones that uh, couldn't yeah. bounce back from the shit. Like, uh, hey, I gave you an address. Now you can go out and go get you a job. Maybe we'll like. There's so many fucking beater cars out there. They can fix those for cheap. Uh, yeah, give these yeah. People a car. Give them like. Come on, just get them like, the St. Louis startup kit. Get them a Pontiac. Well, I'm just saying, like, just, crib. just uh, just a homeless setup kit. Like, get, get yeah. them an $800 car. 
they go out, start working, give them like a, a fucking job, like for the city or whatever. So you know they're guaranteed to work. They're guaranteed to go to work. They're guaranteed to come and get this money. And then instead of giving them taxes at the end of the year, uh, they pay back for whatever the car was worth. So some people might make $40,000 a year. That car ain't going to be shit out of them taxes. Right. Like, bro, there's there's so many ways to make fucking money by helping people out. And they just yeah, choose, doing it genuinely. They just choose to get the cash up front and fuck people over in the long run. Right. Because it's all about money, man, at the end of the day. Of course. But... Um, I'm sorry, we took too long on this subject. This is fucking thirty minutes on talking about the <laughs> all right, bro. So look, all right, so look, subject. But go ahead. All right, so look, all right, Venice, right? Venice, uh, over there, man. It's like fucking flooded, man. Like, yeah, uh, Venice has always been flooded. You're talking about Italy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, they had a a, a system that failed to activate so that's why it flooded over there like because you know they got the uh the barriers you know yeah. how like new yeah, orleans the got their shit yeah the levees yeah 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 so like uh it's 78 of them between a 1500 cultural place pretty much so they got to like replace with it with artificial barriers and the artificial barriers is like not working right so like now it's like a whole bunch of water that's like piling up like probably fucking every day well, not only that, but I think it was a couple of years, maybe like three or four years ago, they had an article talking about in the next couple of years or maybe the next 20 years that Venice will be completely underwater just because of how much water is coming in that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. like they've already got, like, there's some places that's completely underwater. Like, these buildings were built and they it just... It's a fucking underwater city. It's yeah, be, yeah, it's man. It's gonna be like some Atlanta shit. Yeah, See, yeah, some Atlanta they, shit. But they could co- capitalize on that somehow. Like, all right, so check this out. This is gonna sound weird. Build a city on top of a city. Well, not only that, they've already done that. New York has been like three cities yeah. on top of each other. Like, they right. build so much on top of old cities to where they find, like, I think. Where there was un, there was un, like de, what shit? They were excavating an area for a building so they can build something, and they found a fucking boat up under it. Like they built a right. fucking building on top of a boat just to you know kind of yeah. like fill in some shit. But it was like an old battleship from like the the fucking uh, not Civil War, but and I bet it was a big ass ship too. Rest yeah, of this fuck. yeah, it was definitely from. When America was worse. Look like the Titanic. <sighs> no, not like that, but, you know, a big-ass wooden ship or whatever. But, you know, all they did was put yeah, the yeah. shit in a hole and packed it up with dirt and then built a fucking building on top of yeah. it. So, um, but, no, yeah, what, man. What I was saying so, is... So... Like, what? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I fucking forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Where out of fuck? You were uh, just talking about it. Yeah, nigga. Whenever I get uh, like interrupted or I uh, sneeze or whatever, it, it just yeah. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. But go ahead, continue. Oh no, 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 no! I had but, the plan. The plan. All right. So it's gonna sound. Yeah, fucking, okay. It's gonna sound. It's gonna sound outrageous. Keep keep your plan or what you were talking about in mind. So okay. Uh, since they know that the city is gonna be, um, how can I say, underwater and shit. What they can do is uh, start building like these uh, almost like bulletproof, uh, pressure safe communities. Like what they can do is if they want to preserve what they got right now, they can uh, kind of make like this giant pool to like drain the city and then start yeah. reinforcing or protecting the city with like this. Um, this uh basically like a fucking bubble yeah but like you know kind of like how i want to say like atlantis was and like aquaman or how that city was down in like star wars with jar jar banks and his people um right like 
if it's going to be underwater, you might as well fucking put it in a capsule. Like, you can make it to where you can it come out of the capsule at any time and shit. Like, build a highway system so, like, it's high enough up to where it can get out of there. But... Yeah, yeah. Just put it... Yeah, like, and you gotta be concerned about pressure. Here we go. This just for all the simple niggas. Uh, build it how Sandy's house is on fucking Spongebob. Yeah, the dome. Yeah. yeah. Literally, it has to be a pressure dome to where it can keep the outside pressure from the, the raging ocean from cracking and drowning everybody on the inside. If they can start working on that now, bro, they got 20 whole years to figure the shit out. Like, they need to start doing that with cities that's below sea level. Like, all of Florida right yeah. now is below sea level, bro. So, like, if a giant tidal wave was to fucking uh, go up maybe, like, 600 feet or whatever, nigga, and it come over Florida, I'm dead. I'm done. That's yeah. all there is to it. Right. So, but if they start, like, that that would be my initial plan. Like, bro, I would, I would literally encapsulate my whole entire house with safety precautions from mother nature like i would make that bitch nuke proof uh waterproof uh yeah. pressure proof yeah any kind of proof nigga i would i would definitely do bug that. proof <laughs> right shit i'd even make it alien proof nigga I, like i would put all right the time man you i mean hey they probably already got all that already of course but i mean that's just me thinking like I'm not yeah, saying cause like that. how you said like Sandy crib like mm-hmm. you know you know how long they SpongeBob been out, so yeah, yeah I'm pretty SpongeBob sure they already made it. Nine, so yeah, 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 man. So yeah. like uh the artificial barrier is called Mose, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mose, and it's named after Moses. You know, cause Moses part of the Red Sea. Yeah. So. Yeah, so Mose is failing to activate, and it's uh, $8 billion for the system. They didn't have spent, though. Hey, what did I just say earlier? Money can't buy your happiness. Yeah, so, man. What people have to realize is Mother Nature is going to always take back over wherever the fuck uh, she got going on. You can't fuck up her plans. So yeah, if you, would can, you, heard. you can you can build a city and whatever. You ever watch an apocalyptic movie? At the end of the day, of Mother course Nature just, they got Mother billions Nature of take, them. Mother Nature take back over. Like I remember, I am legend. You see all the plants took yeah. back over. Uh, what is another one? You just right. think of any like zombie and movie. Ivy. Just think of any zombie movie. Like in the middle of the street, there's fucking plants growing out of the, the, the asphalt, bro. Like Right. And so, like the buildings are falling and fucked up. Yeah. I you mean, know what I'm saying? The bridges is fucked up. Yeah, Mother Nature's still gonna keep going. Yeah. So, you know, uh all that shit supposed to be, you know, completed a decade ago, bro. So and they saying that uh you know behind it are wise felons because they has a lot of corruption. And scandals, and the mayor of Venice is supposed to be involved in all the corruption and scandals. Well, so, I wouldn't doubt it. Shit, that, that kind of yeah. reminds me of like what I'm watching right now in Veronica Mars, but I'll, I'll leave that for everybody to watch for themselves. And you know, I'm not gonna spoil man, it. I never really watched Veronica Mars coming up. Like, I seen it, but like, I just I was a kid, so I was like, I'll turn this shit off. That was, that was the same thing here. I told you when I was a kid, I did not want to see, um, an additional white face uh, to see with a, a uh, right. sidekick black person in the background. Like, I always right. find that shit uncomfortable. And then when I, once I, uh, once my wife unlocked my eyes, bro, I saw beyond that shit. So. Yeah, man. Um, no, but it's a good show. I, I would highly recommend it. It's on Hulu. But anywho, they ain't really, uh, they not I know they got a way. game out on that, on that game, don't they? They didn't have a game on that show. I don't know, but um, they like a GameCube or something. Who knows? They they probably do. I know they had three seasons, then a movie, and then they brought it back, and I think they got one spinoff show. But anywho, um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, there's tons of corruption in politics, and people fail to realize it. 
they just go, oh, they're putting out this news that so and so is this and that. I don't believe it. It's not true. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, it's true. And nine times out of ten, it's a million times worse than what you believe it is. Right, right. And people really want, you know, all the politicians to admit that they lied. They're yeah. not going to tell you the truth. Of course not. And when they do tell you the truth, it's because they already in too fucking deep. Right, right. It's, it's too late. I mean, it's too far gone. And, you know, they already did it. Yeah, so it was like, yep. They'll they'll use uh, those uh, Mari or, or court show uh, apologies. It was a moment of weakness. And <laughs> that's why I did this and that. Casualties of war. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I can say though is what? eventually with I all the, with all the new kids that's gonna grow up and they see how the world is operating, they're gonna use this to their advantage to fix shit. Like I mean, go in and whoever's alive and that was corrupt, they probably might be celebrating like you know consecutive life sentences at the end of their life because of all the crimes they did in their life. There's, right. There's so many successful people in this world who um are living right now off the blood and tears of other people that were less fortunate than them. Well, mainly us cuz we the or black more, that or built. more vulnerable as I should say. You know, when people are yeah. green uh or wet behind the ears, they tend to be more gullible. And they allow sucker shit to happen to them um, just so, you know, they can get a touch of fame or money or power. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Attention, yeah. Ooh, I got so much energy today. Um, Let this shit out, cuz. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go. I had this one topic that I wanted to talk about. Um, go ahead. And then I'll let you continue on yours. So, um. Me and my wife were talking. I was up here washing dishes. She was on her way home. And I was telling her why I didn't really sleep good. Because. <laughs> people. God you know, damn, boy. Yeah, I know. People come in through the neighborhood and they blast music and shit. Like, you know, they at fucking Freak Nick or whatever. Like, bro, it's, it's one o'clock in the morning. I should not hear your fucking trunk rattling. Or I should not hear everything that you're listening to. Yeah, loud as engine pipes. Well, that that I can understand because sometimes people want themselves to be noticed that they're coming home. I noticed that. Like, a lot of people... Yeah, I noticed that too. Go get the pipes so you know when they're leaving or you know when they're coming home. Which is... And it's like, why though? uh, I don't know. It's just to alert people like, hey, you know John's on his way home. How do you know? I can hear him from twenty miles away. But no, um, people just come in and blast their music and shit. And now, since this COVID shit has been happening, a lot more people have been arguing and arguing and fighting and arguing. And it's like the people that are working on their relationships, like me, I'm working on mine to make sure I keep mine's in pristine condition. Like I'm doing everything right. to maintain my relationship, right? Other people, on the other right. hand, people out here just doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And the spouse or lover finds out and they start freaking out. Like, people argue all the time about, you know, marital issues. Uh, oh, what bitch you seeing? What nigga you seeing? You want, oh, what the fuck right, you doing right. this? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I shouldn't hear your fucking business. Like, me talking right here, and it's like, I don't know, right now it's about to be 1 o'clock in the morning. Bro, right. nobody's going to hear what the fuck I'm talking about because I'm talking at a level to where no one can hear me. If I can hear your right. conversation through your fucking window or through the ceiling, it's a fucking problem. Little walls. Like, yeah. bro, it's literally a fucking problem. If I can hear your shit from across the way, it's a fucking problem. You need to fix it. Because right yeah. now, I think if you're calling law enforcement and it's not like an actual domestic shit, 
you, all you're doing is wasting their time, and they're gonna take one of you to jail. Like it, it don't even matter. Oh, like, eventually put here, y'all out. I mean, yeah. I mean, if it depends on the 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 property that you own or you're staying at, if they have yeah. a no. Oh my god. <laughs> if they have a a non disturbance like disclaimer or some shit for their uh for their property, then yeah, you can get put out. I remember yeah. there's there's a property uh not too far from where I live. If you have to call the police or the paramedics or anything that disturbs your other neighbors, you're getting put out. Like you could mm-hmm. you could literally get injured and you have to drive yourself out of the apartment complex to call them. Right. And I remember I was like, bro, why the fuck are you staying at a place like that? He was like, look, it was nice. We could afford it. I was like, but if something happens to you, you're going to get put out. And surely that's what happened to him. His brother uh, had like a mental breakdown or some shit. And they had to call the paramedics for him. And yeah, got put out like the next week. So that's fucked up. God damn. Yeah, but it is of course to. that's just somebody telling me the story. I don't know how true it is, but um, yeah, it's always yeah, two sides. There's, there's just tons of people out here arguing over goofy shit, and it's like, of course, when people were working and going to school like normal, um, they didn't have that problem because, of course, you know they can go out and mingle, talk to who they were talking to, fuck who they were fucking with. Whatever. And right. They just come home, see their spouse, go to bed or watch TV, go to sleep, move on what the fuck they're doing. Now. Same cycle. Um, They can't do it like that anymore. Like they have limited time to talk to whoever they were talking to on the outside. One. Right. Uh, two, they see their spouse a lot more than usual and they begin to see what they don't like about the person more than what they love about the person. So they start. Uh, how can I say, uh, tallying off, what is this person worth to me? Like, it, once you take away the physical aspect, like their looks and the sex yeah, and all that yeah. kind of shit, right, right. what do they bring into the table? Like, does this person pay rent? Does this person make me happy? Does this person I will hope um, so. shit. mentally stimulate me? Uh, like, what does this person do for me? And a lot of people are realizing, like, oh, I was just with this person for the money. Oh, I was just with this person for the pussy. Oh, I was with this person because we had kids together. Oh, I was with this person because of this and that right. and whatever it is. Right. So, right. Uh, like, me and my wife were, like, kind of breaking it down. and she was Oh, like, I was homeless. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I had a friend. He was homeless. <laughs> and whenever he would go over a bitch house, yeah. he would throw dick down to the point where the bitch would be like, yeah, come on, move in. Yeah, I'll let you borrow my car and everything. Went home. Went, look, niggas that's homeless will fuck your bitch yeah. so good to where your bitch be wondering what the fuck you doing. Your bitch would be like, man, uh, so you going to work today? Uh, what time? How long are you going to be going for? Okay, okay, yeah, all right, cool. Um, wait, you picking up an extra shift? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Homeless dude. Hey, speaking of uh, speaking of fucking uh, fucking a bitch. Uh, you heard Lil B new mixtape? Uh, nah. I, I seen you sent me the link, but nah. Yeah, that yeah, nah. hoop life too. Yeah, no, nah, I haven't checked it out. <laughs> he back on his old shit. Yeah, I told you with that last album, he sounded like he was going back to old Lil B. But remember, he said he has tons of songs that he just hasn't released yet. So. Man, he got millions of shits. I'm yeah. pretty sure, like, you know, after, you know, when he's long and gone, they're still going to be pumping music out. He's I mean, going to be like the next Tupac still, of the generation. Still, that's what they're still doing with Prince. They're still trying to pump out Prince's music that was recorded and not finished and trying to finish the shit yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they did it. They did it with Biggie uh, not too long ago. They had released a, a, a freestyle that he did from like 92. <laughs> Yeah, see the whole and they made is, a commercial out of it. Whole thing is they try to capitalize on the dead a lot because the dead are worth more dead than alive, which is fucked up. It's so, yeah. oh. your shit's breaking up. Your shit's breaking up, bro.
Yeah, like I was saying, bro. Like a lot yeah. of people are, are worth more money dead than alive, which is fucked up. Yeah. So it's like culture now. Yeah, like especially like the the game where people's um, uh, how can I say people's uh, music is a lot more valuable once the person is dead. Yeah. So fucking products, shit. Yeah, yeah. That's even the ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind physical, and then they can make money off of. Right. Um, But yeah, let me let me get back to what I was talking about though. So, um, yeah. So we started breaking that down, and I was telling her how, like, you know, since this COVID shit happened. you know, I don't really bring any money to the table. Like, you know, a nigga, like, I'm not going to say I'm, like, broke. I can pay whatever bills I got. It's just, like, I'm not I'm not getting it how I used to. And it's like, I, I wasn't yeah. like getting it, getting it before. It's just, like, it took me to go through this shit to kind of be comfortable and make sure I'm maintained on my shit just to be... Like, if I was to go back to working five days a week right now, bro, like, I think I could pay way more of my bills than I actually could before. Yeah. Which is fucked up. Yeah, I could pay this fucking cell phone bill that's coming up. Right. I could probably pay all my bills plus save. And that would be strange because I've never been in a situation to where I could save before. Right. Like, and I don't think most people in our situations have been able to save before. But, you know, getting to that point, I was just like, yeah, it's uh, it's just at that point where, look, man, it's, um, oh, my God, Jesus Christ. The fuck was I going to say? It's, it's just that people need to um, figure out what the fuck is going on in their lives instead of... Yeah. Trying to force something on somebody else. So, like, cool. If you like me, you like me. We gonna break bread together. We gonna go ahead and, you know, get this shit moving or whatever. But if you just with me because, you know, I got a pretty smile or I'm with you because you got a fat ass and a nice body and big pussy. uh, Right. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, (laughs) we both gonna have to figure out what the fuck is going on. And... Like, honestly, just sit there and talk with each other and, like, what are we really together for? Like, that that's one thing that people should really do. Maybe, like, every two to five years. Just, like, what are we still together for? Like, you can right. really you can really believe you love this person and you might have love for this person, but what does this person really do for you? Are they... Like besides, like like I was saying, besides all the physical shit, once you take all the physical shit away, what does this person offer you? Like, you can go out and go get your own money. Cool, you guys might have right. a kid together. You get everything the next person can get. Yeah, but what does this person offer you? Like, what are you really looking for in life? Like you, like uh, I think I mentioned this the last time, where these girls were talking about how you know men should be kicking in more on bills and shit. Bitch, if you can afford it and it's your house and it's your bills, you should pay for it. If I'm right. just coming over here to now, drop if off that nigga for really minutes, to then, help you with it, right? But that's what the whole thing is like. Bitch, your bills should already be taken care of. So it's like right. if you we should living, be if we living together, everything gonna be split down the middle. If I'm just coming over here to dick you down, then I ain't paying for shit. Maybe I'll buy you a thirty dollar minute uh, a thirty dollar meal because I'm only dicking you down for thirty minutes, so you get one dollar per minute. But look in that right. But what I'm trying to say is like people should figure out why they're with a person before they just you know go off and do whatever the fuck they're gonna do and whatever issues gonna be caused because it is is just a waste of time. A waste of lives. Like, people shooting each other over fucking cheating, bro. Like, stabbing each other and shit. Like, bro, you... you, Like, can you imagine? Like, 2020 is already fucked up. Like, why would you purposely go fuck your own life up? Because somebody went out 
and tasted some other dick or some other pussy. Like, bro, come on. And sometimes it probably wasn't even like that. Maybe the person was just looking for some conversation. And then it might have led to that. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. the person, the people, instead of the physical aspect, people get more mad about you talking to somebody else than actually fucking somebody else, which is the fuck, like, worst thing ever. Like, if you yeah, emotionally man. connect it to another person, that's more hurtful than you just going out to have a one night stand. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, hey. Like, the, the, like, I think here's some, here's some questions that men usually ask women that cheat on them. Was his dick bigger than mine? Uh, did you suck his dick? Uh, did you let him come in you? Did you did, like it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Was he better than me? All this kind of shit. Women, they yeah. just go like, so what does she have or what does she do for you that I can't do for you? Or what did I do wrong? Or what it, it's, it's always about them, really. <laughs> like, it's always about them. <laughs> like, we think about what the fuck the other dude is doing for you that we couldn't do. But it's like them. Like, what am I not doing? Even though yeah. it sounds exactly the same, it's just like they more so talk it's about like, girl. yeah, it's like, what am I not doing right? And then they judge you on what you fucked or what you're talking to. Like, if the girl does not look better than them, bro, you going to hear about it. If the girl looks way better than them, you'll only hear about it a little bit. Pretty much, yeah. Like, how my wife explained it to me, because when I used to fuck up, or I thought I was fucking up, you're supposed to fuck up, not down. Right, Eddie Griffin said it. Exactly. So, yeah, I did a lot of fucking down. So that's all I can tell you, but um, right, right, right. Yeah, I I just figure, man, like people just need to figure out what the fuck is going on, um, with what they like, who they're with, and they won't have to sit here and argue just in case another one of these fucking pandemics happen, man. Like all you're doing yeah, is wasting man. each other's time. Like you think you love the person, y'all think y'all vibing and shit, and then it really comes down to it. Like, y'all ain't really got shit in common. And it's like, what I was telling my wife, like, bro, you ain't really got to have shit in common with somebody to be fucking with them. Like, right. you you can you can sit here and you might like the same movie. You might like the same food. You might like spending time with each other. But... Yeah, that's a little bit of common. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's a little bit. But I'm saying, y'all both shouldn't yeah. just like video games. You both shouldn't just like cars. You both shouldn't just like drinking water all day like it, it shouldn't be a lot of similarities that's 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 people yeah, who went yeah. out to go search for themselves like you right. might find a girl that's super sexual and you're not that sexual or vice versa right, one right. person's always going to be more sexual than the other or more funny than the other so you know hey it is what it is man of course oh yeah but uh, go ahead and go on with your next topic. Uh, well, uh, dealing with uh home again. Um, the first COVID nineteen vaccine, um, expected to arrive in St. Louis region by the end of this week. So maybe this week or this week. And they and they're saying that it would not be enough for the first year to vaccinate all hospitals. But uh. Of course, you it know, ain't gonna be enough, uh, bro. It's, I mean, they've already right, right, out, and it says it's gonna take several months to get every fucking everybody. I guess. All right, you you hear that right? Several months to take it. So yeah, they've already right. got the shit already stockpiled, right? They're gonna do trial right. and error, which they've already been doing. Right. They've been doing human testing for a while now. Okay, oh, so animals. so then. What they do is you're going to have people go out here, go get this uh, goofy-ass placebo shot or whatever goofy-ass shit yeah. they're going to inject in the you. Shot. That's going to fuck up your next couple generations. And they're going to um, they gonna create supply and demand. So they're going to put this uh, original supply out. Bless me. Excuse me. Uh, they're going to put yeah. the original supply <laughs> out. 
and then they're gonna create yeah. demand like oh we ran out of vaccines and then you're gonna hear somebody get vac- uh, a vaccination and the next person will be like, oh, shit, I should have went and got me one. When the fuck is the next one? So you have people out there protesting, I need the vaccine. I need this. I need that. And people just going to be sitting there like, well, it's going to be $30 extra now. Oh, it's going to be $100 Man. extra now. Oh, it's going to be this now. So I, I'm already calling Man. it right now. Y'all can go back to episode, yeah. what was this, 12? Episode 12 of Dumb and Dumber. And you're going to hear me say, uh... How they just gonna create supply and demand? It's it's going it's definitely gonna be to where hey I got it but you gonna have to pay for it. And of course hey, you they know they gonna, they gonna make about? hold on wait, they gonna make them uh, vaccines cost money because people can catch COVID nineteen multiple times. Right. But go ahead and say and what that's you're what I was just thinking. But that's what I was just thinking because like you know. Once they, you know, do this whole shortage out of COVID nineteen, so what? They just gonna be injecting motherfuckers like everywhere they go. Right, but I think now it's gonna be become a drug now. What they're really doing is like, you know, how every year you gotta go get a fucking flu shot. It's gonna be another yeah. COVID. It's gonna be a COVID shot every year. Like they already right. said, um, I think it was like in the first couple of months of this shit that. Oh my god. <sighs> They've already said that the COVID nineteen gonna be like the flu. It's gonna be seasonal. Like, how's this shit seasonal now, bro? The shit only lasts fourteen days in your system, and it's gone. Now, how's this shit gonna yeah. be seasonal? That's the whole thing. So, you think it's gonna be passing around with enough people, and it's gonna be in the air to where, like, how the flu pops up magically? Like, I had a theory. About the flu and cold and all that shit. Like, because the common cold bounce around like fucking luggage in an airport right now. Right, right. But what, what I'm trying to say is like, I think what they do is put the shit in the food. Now, I told a friend about this maybe five or six years ago. This is when I was like really big on eating frozen food, right? Like, you know, those, yeah, yeah. those, uh, I think it was like Stouffer's macaroni and shit. So, yeah. Perfectly healthy, going to work, didn't get sick. Fucking eat one of those Stouffer's macaronis and get sick for two weeks. And I'm not talking about uh-huh. like stomach sick. I'm talking about sneezing, coughing, stuffed up nose, all that shit. So, right. I started having, like, you know, I was like, damn, well, how the fuck did I get sick? Ain't nobody at work sick. What's going on with me? So. I fucking narrowed it down to that. So, I, I, you know, I got better or whatever, and I waited like another couple of months, did it again. Same results. So, mm-hmm. it's like, bro, the shit might be in the food. Like, you know, people always talk about you of know, course. All this extra shit that's in the food anyways, but, you know, I, I think for real that they put the sickness in the food. Uh, they put a lot of shit in the food and then you wonder what the fuck is going on yeah and the water of course yeah that's inevitable they they're gonna put the shit in the water regardless so yeah but exactly. hey man so uh you want to take a commercial break ah uh, yeah yeah we can definitely take a commercial break uh let's see right. hold on damn i'm gonna take to myspeech.com Oh my god! <laughs> see, talking about sneezing. You know, in my space, that was right. the days. Right. See, sitting here talking about sneezing and shit, I almost just sneezed just now. I don't know what the fuck going on, but I don't know. Yeah, I think, man. You know, I think whatever on you talk into existence is just gonna happen anyways. So, of course. Oh my god. Christ. Man, this shit takes like fucking forever, man. I think uh, next time. Forever I'll and a day. Yeah, day, I'll just day, have this day, shit day. up next time. Right. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and play our first commercial as soon as I fucking find it. 
Like, where the fuck is this thing? God damn. Why the fuck can I go up? Dude, you know Facebook? I sponsored. Fucking... You might get mad. You said what? Your sponsor. I said I sponsors. Yeah, sponsors Mike Mad. Sponsors a bitch ass <laughs> nigga. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, where the fuck is this thing? Damn, where the shit at that you sent me? No, that's too far up. <sighs> Yo, this should be upsetting me. I think I found it. Is that it? Yeah, finally. All right, let's play it. Pause, play, and their sponsor. Oh, come on, motherfucker. God damn. I don't know why this shit started. Hey, everyone, here is your boy, Infovine Mercial, here to give you my new product. Good job, Repel It. Yeah, uh, it gets rid of all the fuck niggas, all the negativity in your life. And yeah, you can get it at certain stores, or you can get it online at MommyMyPussyHurt.com. Right, hey, everyone, here is your boy, Infovon Mercial. Here to give you my. Infovon Mercial. Uh, yeah, so, anywho, go ahead with your next topic, sir. Yeah. Uh. Well, uh, uh there are, uh,. Eight foods to stock up on now before they all run out during the COVID. Okay. Well, they're suggesting that there are eight different foods that you should get before everything fucking Look, go out of stock. They're, they're all canned foods. Like, well, like one of them is canned food. Like tuna, nigga, packaged. Right. Uh, and you already meals, know that Cali, meals. uh. Right. And you already know that Cali issued a stay at home order and Iowa issued a stay stay at home order and mass is like mandatory and they banned gathering of like fifteen people. And and Kentucky did the same shit. Hey bro. So, Listen, it's always gonna be one person that's like, Man, this shit ain't real. And they gonna pass it off. Right. So <laughs> Right, right. Until these so, start shooting so the, on site. People ain't gonna stop doing what the fuck they gonna do. Exactly. We all know this. So, uh, so the list that they put out was canned soup was number one. Then they had coffee and hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. I love hot cocoa. Uh, eh, salad greens. Huh? Salad greens. Uh, meat altern alternatives. Wait, wait, wait. And wait, wait, wait. I go mean back, alternatives. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. What? You said salad greens? Like, you know, yeah, salad greens. I guess so. Salad, lettuce, whatever the fuck. Nigga, that's that shit green is in the salad. That, that shit is perishable. Like, the thing you want to be going for during, like, you know, lockdowns, quarantines, natural disasters, niggas, is canned food. Even though it's extremely salty and bad for you, that's probably right. the only thing that you can really eat that's prepared. Like, you can't sit here and take milk. Because that shit, because it's refrigerated, even though real milk right. ain't supposed to be refrigerated, milk, uh, you want to have water. I, I, I can go ahead and name yeah, shit. Yeah, man. You can, you can have yeah, man. Yeah, but hold on. Oh, well, 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 let okay, me go, go ahead and knock this shit out. Go ahead. But the meat uh, alternatives, uh, jackfruit and oak milk, a uh, piece of crust and bacon supplies. Okay, so yeah, let me let me go ahead and do this real quick. Cause I have my own list too. Yeah, cause I don't know what kind of young goofy ass person uh, came up with this list, but oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what the All article right. is. All right, here we go. So the first thing you want to do is have yeah. some canned beans, right? Beans are gonna right. definitely help you out. You want to have some dried nuts. Uh, like peanuts, uh, pistachios, pecans, wherever the fuck that is, you're going to eat it. Uh, mm -hmm. Some packaged tuna. Um, you definitely want to have some fucking pickles. Uh, definitely tons of bottled water. You're going to have to have like some packs of Gatorade. Uh, have you some chips, some dried cereal. Um, yeah. Get you some raviolis, of course, canned soup. Um, you you want to mm -hmm. get shit that's already cooked to where you don't want to 
touch it just in case the power goes out. Like thinking about, you know, eggs and all that dairy and meat and all that shit. Yeah, you don't yeah. really need that. You can fucking go get spam, bro. Spam is extremely salty. Just wash it off. Get most of the salt off. Or put some pepper yeah. on that shit. Like equalize it. Yeah. But this is all shit that you can have just in case uh, somebody decides to sabotage the power or the power goes out somehow. You'll still have something to eat. Like, yeah, man. I don't think people think about this. Like shit, like fruit and uh, salad greens, bro. You can't fucking have that. Like the jackfruit, bro. You can't have that. It's a fucking fruit. It's perishable. Like you want non-perishables for this shit. Like cereal. Well, you know they're giving out the the fucked up list. Yeah, of course they're gonna give you that, and then people gonna run out there and they gonna fucking starve. Like the, the essentials, <laughs> right. the essentials that you want is definitely spring water or or purified water. That's what you want. Um, you can get you as many sugary or salty snacks as you want, but that shit's gonna run out because the shit is so addictive to where you eat one and you gonna want another. And another, another. That's why mm-hmm. I just finished a right. fucking box of Rice Krispies treats in a week, and it was forty Rice Krispies treats in it, bro. Ah, damn. Exactly. I'm not buying any more Rice Krispies treats. Um, it's the same thing with Goldfish or or Cheez Its, uh, Oreos have, and I shit. Have, I got a pack of Oreos sitting on the couch right now, not open. And I every time I want to open, let me get them bitches. Uh, they're 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 Oreo and peanut butter. So every time Man, how they taste? They taste uh, good with milk. Uh they should. I mean I haven't had them in a long time. But anywho, before I get off subject, what I'm what I'm trying to say is <laughs> bro, like the fuck was I gonna say? Every time I look at that pack of Oreos, I wanna dive into them, but I know if I do, I'm not gonna stop. Right. So it's all about like really self control. Um, also, what I should tell people to get is apple cider vinegar. Bro, it's an appetite suppressant. So, all you gotta do is take a shot of that uh, a day, and you ain't gonna eat all your fucking food up in one day. Mm-hmm. Or one week. Right. So, like, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna start taking my shots of that shit again, because we just bought, like, a big thing of vinegar to, uh, uh-huh. or do whatever with, but, yeah, like... Cool. Yeah, so yeah. So here's the list that I, I wrote down, Go me ahead. personally. Uh of course some water, some mm-hmm. soup, yeah. uh a fucking generator. Uh I need my music. I need my weed. Uh you get fruits. Or you know, you get some weapons and uh some herbs. And uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Nigga, this was shit to eat. What are you t- talking about guns, generator and all this shit? Like Hey man, look. <laughs> These, hey, these motherfuckers eat these bullets, too. They talking about taking shit. When they run out of shit, hey, I'm going to need something to protect my own. Oh, my God. No, nah, nigga. That's what I was talking about. Like, we was just talking about food. Hey, now, man. We, hey, you, you got to think, of the, you gotta about, think of the left side of shit. If you, if you were talking about, like, life survival skills, then, yeah, knives, guns, get you a backup. Well, you don't just want one backup generator. You want about two or three. Uh, and make sure they out to right. your building so you can actually breathe and not die from car. Hey man, I got hipped on the on the uh on the solar power uh generators. I need me one of those. So once they block out the sun, a nigga, they ain't gonna be helpful because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to block the sun out. Right, right. But you know that's why you said get China. three of them hoes. Yeah. But you ain't just hear what I said though. They're trying to block the sun out and make an artificial sun. Yeah, I heard it. So, anyways, nigga, hey. uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so get you like three generators. Of course, you're gonna have your firepower. You're gonna have your knives and all that kind of shit. Um, yeah, you just want a whole bunch of tools to wear just in case you want to fix something. Like, like have you a toolkit with like twenty different sizes of screwdriver? Uh, oh, I got all that. Allen wrenches. You want to have you some fucking wrench set. You want to make sure you got. Um, Maybe like four weeks worth of gas and containers just sitting in a closet somewhere, not inside uh-huh. the house, but like maybe in your shed or on your porch or some shit. Like you want to make sure you're able to travel and move out of here. Shit, nigga, you might want a uh, hundred cases of Lysol wipes and 
and 40 cans of disinfectant. You want to make sure yeah. shit is good for yeah. you. Like, fuck all that TV, and, all that PlayStation, all that shit. You want to make sure yeah, yeah. everything is good. Now, you also want to make and, sure, uh, just in case you got a female or a young biz itch in the house with you, you want to make sure she has all her feminine products and wipes, nigga. Because if the power go out, boy, that pussy about to be funky. All I can tell you is... And digging balls. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. A bitch will suck on it, some dirty digging balls, and nigga ain't going to eat on no dirty ass pussy, especially if it's a week old. Now, um, like that was almost always my question inside of, like these apocalypse movies and shit. Like, how the fuck are these motherfuckers bathing? Like, you notice there ain't that many kids being born during the apocalyptic times because think of stank. So, uh, how the fuck are they getting by? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't think about that shit. Like, right, bro. So, hey, when I was playing all them uh, video games, it's the same shit. You need to take no bail. Nope. So, and, and it's like hot as fuck out there. And of course, during the winter, yeah. it seemed like niggas Cold funkier. as fuck. Niggas funkier in the winter than they are in the summer. So... Yeah, I, I just yeah. feel like, right, man, like, you want to make sure you have all the essentials, like, for the all around the clock, nigga. I'm going to still be wearing deodorant. I'm going to still be uh, washing my balls up, nigga. If I got to fill the bathtub mm-hmm. up uh, every week and then take a bucket and clean my ass from a bucket, nigga, I'll do that. As long as the water. In the yeah, man. Hey, you know, black people will make a way. No problem. Uh, you gonna have we ain't to even got to stress. We been making ways, making plays. Of course. And stand out of people's way. Mm-hmm. Shit, but you got any more topics? Yeah, to man. So. I was gonna say. What was that? What? Nah, I said, do you have any more topics? Yeah, yeah, I got some more topics, but you know, hey, I thought you were gonna play some more commercials. I ain't know what you was. Nah, I, I think we'll 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 hold on to them commercials for a little bit. <laughs> but nah, go keep going. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, McDonald's is ending a Happy Meal, and uh, really by next year, yeah, so, by the top of next year. So what are they replacing it with? Because I know they try well, to get rid well, of they it. Not, before, well, they not. Well, they, they they're, they're not the ending the. Bill. Right, they're not ending the whole Happy Meals thing, but they are raising the prices up on the Happy Meals. Nigga, you so you the, all you the know, Happy Meals they. All you got to do is go buy a cheeseburger, uh, half a small fry, and a little ass uh, midget drink, and you'll have your Happy Meal. Like, the Happy Meal is the most fucking overrated, overpriced piece of food on the fucking menu. Just get your child. Yeah. See, the child don't even give a fuck about the food, nigga. They just care about the little cheap ass toy that's in it. Like, that's how gassed up McDonald's be gassing these kids up. Like, hey, that's oh, how it was, fucking... too. But, like... Back when we were kids, they had high quality toys, like exclusive yeah, yeah, toys yeah. from like the fucking Power Rangers movies, nigga. Like actual movable yeah. figures, and Hot shit. Wheels and shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, these toys actually worked. But no, now yeah, bro, this shit is. Know. Bro, they gotta get rappers to sell toys. They gotta sell rappers as toys. <laughs> yeah, nigga, they, they they just they capitalizing on everything because kids don't really fuck with toys like that no more. Like man, my mother ain't really dude. fucking with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they ain't really fucking with none of that shit. It all. Yeah, all they nobody. They they toy game. They toy game went downhill for a long time. Actually, all the ass went downhill. Like Burger King used to. Have yeah, all the asses. Hey, I remember. Hey, I remember Subway used to sell a Happy Meal with toys. Yeah, they don't even do that shit no more. They, they, re- they replace that shit with the cookies. And yeah, yeah. It's fire, nigga. Whenever, you know, the last Yeah, time cookies is fire, nigga. Yeah. Hey, which one you think better? Subway cookies or McDonald's cookies? Uh, nigga, the cookies that used to come in the Happy Meal, nigga, uh, those were like the best cookies in the world. And then they stopped making those all together. Who are you, who are you talking about? I'm talking about McDonald's. Uh, I was going to say you, Subway. I'm talking about the, the little cookies that used to come in the Happy Meal for McDonald's. Those were the best cookies in the fucking world. 
now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, That was fine. If, if you're talking about, like, the cookies that they bake there, nigga, I don't eat uh McDonald's cookies. The last time I ate Subway's cookies was probably, like, 09, 2010. Yeah. Yeah, they had just came out with, like, some uh raspberry cheesecake or some shit cookie, and I was like, oh, this is good. But, mm. And I basically did a full uh, review on that bitch, huh? Uh, that was that was way before I was doing food reviews, but. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you was in the making. <laughs> you said what in the making? I yeah. said yeah, you was in the making. Yeah, I used to do so, like, uh, that shit, bro. Like I would I would drive around town with my uh my friend at the time. Uh, who's no longer my friend anymore, but we was like drive around town and go to like the gas station and just fucking waste money, nigga. We would like go get an energy drink and have like a Snickers or whatever kind of candy bar ice cream thing and just be fucked up on sugar the whole day. Like this nigga did not do drugs <laughs> or drink. And he was like two years old. Yeah. Then, but he didn't do none of that shit. So, um, that needs to high on snacks. High on snacks, bro. And then, like, after this nigga would drop me off, because, like, he would sometimes come pick me up and shit. And then, you know, we'd go over to his crib, play some video games and all that kind of shit. Or we'd just go hang yeah. out with, like, some of his Pro friends shit. and shit. Yeah. Um, but whenever I would get home, nigga, I would smoke one up, because that sugar shit be having your ass fucked up for the whole day. I'm talking about, like, not only your stomach, but just mentally you be fucked up the whole day. Nigga, you be so damn hyper, you yeah. know what to do. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bet you don't do that shit no more. Hell no. Nah. So, uh, so, so Cali in Washington is banning the new, uh, the new, uh, Chevrolet, uh, Camaro SS and the ZL1. And they're wow. saying that the both models are illegal due to percentage of copper in their brake pads, says the DTSC. Okay. A lot of niggas don't even give a shit about that. They gonna change the brake pads anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this in the brakes yeah, or the actual calipers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, you know, uh, like, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, you know, when he was... Is he still the governor of California? Fuck no. Uh, well, when he was, uh, he signed a, a bill that was called the California Motor Vehicle Brake Friction Law, and it prohibits uh, car makers from selling brake pads that contains a lot of heavy metals and copper. Break, and they say the brake does is harmless. I mean, harms it harms the fucking water and the animals. Yeah. <laughs> so they, <laughs> so they try to crack down on that shit. Yeah, it's hard to. They they have a lot of things for inspections over there in California also. Like if your car is heavily modified, it has to go through like the the DMV first before you can put that yeah. on the road. So if you wanna do some aftermarket yeah. lights or you wanna do like anything uh modifying your car regardless and you're gonna be driving on the road daily, you definitely gotta go to the mm-hmm. DMV and get your car inspected. Yeah. Yeah, man, that man that don't play out there, Kelly, man. They be I don't know if that's official or not. Anybody from California, you can right. man, like, share, subscribe, and comment below and let us know if that shit is official or not. But, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, uh, so music. Uh, Kid Cudi is dropping in Man of the Moon 3. I'm excited about it because I love Kid Cudi. he music. just dropped that shit. Nah, he was supposed to drop it like a few years back. But yeah, I guess he took his time on it and Man on the Moon Three is coming out today, which is Friday. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to that bitch tomorrow when I wake up. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I was never really a kid cutty fan. I don't know, it's just like his music wasn't attractive to me. I get it. Yeah, it ain't for everybody, but hey, you know. Uh, he no. never makes shitty music, though. Hey, maybe I'll get into him in like ten years. See how long it took me yeah, to tell yeah, the yeah. motherfucker. So, well, you know, he's been out here more than ten years. I know. <laughs> 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 but, 
But uh, yeah, though, man, you no know, shit. Hey, you know, everybody, you know, keep your eyes open, your antennas open. For what? For this shit to go down. But man, you know, man, shit. How many weeks we got till next year come? Nigga, what, three nigga, weeks? See, I told you about this shit like two or three episodes ago, nigga. No, it was about four episodes ago. I was like, bro, you you, you do the same shit I do. You do that long ass pause and wait for feedback, and then niggas be like, and? Bruh. Like, oh, that's it. I wouldn't get. <laughs> bruh, but I, you acting like I did that shit on purpose. You're like, keep your eyes and ears open, your antennas open. But yeah, though, that was, I was just making a statement. <laughs> That wasn't uh, like I was leading up to shit. Yeah, nah, you can't lead people on the on the on the fucking uh, the cliff like that, bro. You gotta come in with something else after that. Well, hey man, I thought that was pretty much self-explanatory. Like yeah, nah, y'all nah. niggas need to wake the fuck up. If you, if you it, I mean if y'all want to say it like that, boy. motherfuckers was like, and what are we supposed to be looking out for? Man, hmm. shit. Yeah. I mean, hey, if you do your research, you know. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You won't know, won't show. They'll never know about niggas drinking your juice in the hood. <laughs> but. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wait, so, what you got to talk about? Uh, I ain't got shit else to talk about, nigga. I know I'm about to go in here and go to Slizzy. All right, nigga. Shit. Well, you know, today has been a good episode. Of Once course. again, I think all the episodes is fine. Yeah, we've been recording so. for like a, an hour and 30 minutes. All right, then. Well, that's in it right here. <laughs> Boy, unless you got, unless you got some more to talk about, we can go ahead and knock that out. No, I'm, I'm running. I ran out. No, nope. uh-huh. I think we good right here. Yeah, shit, nigga. But anywho, this has been our. I think it's the longest we went. And Vaughn.